Hi, my name is Jennifer McCurdy. I have been working with porcelain for over 40 years now. It is my calling and my full-time job. It is the language that I use to interact with what I see around me, as a mathematician would use an equation or a dancer a dance. Because I am a potter, I start with the wheel thrown form. I play with the idea of the form, anywhere from the purely functional to the completely impossible. The coral nest falls somewhere in the middle. My work cycles are iterative, each individual piece riffing off the pieces that came before it, as well as off the possibilities still in my mind that might follow it. My job is to pay attention to the details and technical difficulties that present themselves in each step of the cycle. From the throwing of the initial thin skin form on the potter's wheel to the subsequent altering of that form, I try to create curves that play off each other. Then I cut away the altered form to create more curves. The fragile greenware porcelain becomes ever more fragile as I cut away and then smooth and perfect the arc of the curves in the sanding process. Firing the piece, which molecularly transforms it from a dried mud-like substance to a translucent rock-like substance, is ever magical for me, as it is for most potters. My pieces slump into new forms as they react with gravity, as they become malleable in the white-hot heat of the kiln. I see with every firing what heat and time can do to Earth. It makes me think about the forces in the core of our planet. I try to imagine all that energy. How can we even be here at all in the face of it? Coral nest is a bowl with a series of ever smaller bowls nested together. Each bowl is carved away to the point where there is more negative space than positive. I like to call it the space between. By nesting them back together, I create an enlarged fractal density that is fairly equally dispersed throughout the whole three-dimensional space which the form is occupying. Its namesake, the coral and the ocean, also hold space in three dimensions, allowing water and other life forms to flow freely through it.